Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another Bubba Triclops Ballistics video. I'm your host, Bubba the Third Eye Blind Triclops. It has been a very long time. I apologize, guys. I very, I very much apologize. I, uh, I am sorry. It's a lot of stuff going on with me and, uh, uh, a lot of stuff with the job, a lot of health problems, a lot of family problems, and things of that nature. A lot of moving going around and stuff. And I, I do apologize for that, but I do hope you will forgive me. And I do hope this video uh, will bring you some type of modicum of entertainment. Uh, but I do have with you my new project that I am working on. I still have the other project guns that I do have to fire. The 350 Legend is finished. I will be doing an unveiling video mm, probably Monday. I'm not 100% sure. Monday would be the, you see here, 16, 17, 18. The 18th, I believe, is the Monday, is Monday, June 18th. Yeah, of 2024, June 18th. Yeah, I believe so. All right, anyway, all right, moving on. But I do will have an unveiling video for the way the paint job looks and the way everything looks on the rifle for right now. Uh, might be one other thing I need to change on it, but for right now, it, it is complete. Uh, had to change a couple of things on that, but that's not what we're here today. We're here today to show you this new concept project that we're doing. Now, you might notice we're not on my reloading bench. Uh, <laughs> my reloading bench. My God, I cannot talk tonight. Uh, but... <laughs> Uh, that's because everything has been moved in my room. So the next uh, good, the bad, and the bubba that we do, you will be seeing in uh, my room that we usually do the good, the bad, and the bubba in. We'll have the reloading bench and everything else in the background. The uh, bed and everything like that has been taken out of there and stuff like that. So it's pretty much become my studio slash reloading room. And yeah. So, I mean, this is a bunch of other things that's been happening. Like I said, a lot has happened since the last time I have done a Good, the Bad, and the Bubba. So, bear with me, guys. Uh, but I want to introduce this project to you guys. So, what we have here is I contacted Boyd's. And I uh, wanted to do a uh, build for a rifle. I wanted another bolt-action rifle. Because I only really have two. <laughs> uh <laughs> One being the Mauser, which I, I still need to work on, which that'll be another video here shortly. Uh, and the, uh, you know, Ruger American that I have, that's my competition rifle. So I wanted to do another one, but I wanted something different. I didn't want 22 LR. I didn't want 22 Magnum, you know, because I got the lever in that. But I might end up still buying a 22 Magnum lever gun. Might be an RPR. Mm, don't know yet, but I want to do... Another 20, uh, do another lever, uh, man, I really cannot talk, uh, another bolt gun. So what we have gotten here is a chassis called the At One by Boyd's. And this thing is a beauty. Look at that. That is gorgeous, isn't it? I love, I love the mix of red, black, and gray all together. I really do enjoy that. It's got some QD points on it, so that's pretty cool. Got two uh, sling mounts here. Uh, this, this is probably going to have a bipod on it, but man, isn't that a beauty? I really, I really like it. I even like the little extra, like even this right here might be considered imperfection to some people, but I do like that extra aesthetic to it. Uh, the cheek rise is retractable. And adjustable so that's cool the butt plate is adjustable too but i do not have that much strength after all the uh, uh illnesses i've had here lately to uh push this one down it takes a little bit more strength the spring on this one's a little bit stronger for right now just bear with me on that it, it does it does retract uh but this is absolutely gorgeous and what's going to be going on this Oh, hey, they sent me a sticker. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, at one, Boyd's, the adjustable gun stock. I actually got a sticker from Boyd's. That's cool. Uh, <laughs> also got, you know, in case I wanted to glass bed it. So I've got some epoxy that came with it, stuff like that. CW, you're, you're probably going to get a bunch of phone calls from me in case I decide to do glass bedding, pillar bedding, yada, 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 stuff like that. Which I don't know if this rifle is actually going to need, but we'll find out. And what we're going to be putting on it 
is this bull barreled. Now I've already got the trigger guard off of it because I got it kind of antsy whenever I finally got it in today. Uh, bull barreled Savage 93R chambered and 17 HMR. That's right. We're going to get rid of this nasty, ugly, fake wood anyway, grain stock. And we're going to be putting this onto that. Now I do have a snap cap in here. There is no actual ammo in there. No ammo inside the slot. There is a snap cap in. And the trigger pull on this is absolutely ridiculous. It's, uh, yeah, it's very, very light. I'd say it's about a pound, maybe a pound and a half. So this is the rifle that's going to be going onto this particular chassis. Now, I also got some stuff that's going with this gun. And what's going with this gun? Now, I'm not going to put this all together because YouTube is finicky about that because uh, they like to infringe on people's rights as far as their YouTube channels are concerned. So I'm not going to be showing putting this on or installing any of the other stuff that I'm about to show you, but just bear with me. So the other thing I got, I got some scope rings. Now you notice this isn't got the plates on it. It is drilled and tapped. I just took the original plates on it, which were weaver plates, but they were, <laughs> they, they were not torqued down. They were not blue loctited or anything. They were absolutely, uh, loose so we're not going to be doing that what we also got to go on it is a 20 moa monstrum rail to put on you guys know i love monstrum so most of this stuff is going to be for monstrum so we got a 20 moa rail that is specific for the savage 93r platform got that we've got a leveling ring it's one of the bigger ones i got a smaller version of them but uh, I didn't bring a knife with me. Well, just bear with me. It's a scope leveling ring. And then what we have here is the actual scope that's going to go on this. Ah, this box is a little bit stiffer to get out. <laughs> Giggity. But what we have here is one of the three by nines. By 40 one inch diameter tube a little nice adjustable scope yeah let's see if we can get that get a picture of that cross here and of course I'm, I'm sitting here and just like absolutely flubbing this Yeah, nothing to be, nothing to write home about. It does have some etchings on the reticle. This does light up. Like I said, it is a 3 to 9. And it does take a CR2032 battery. Now, this scope did come with scope rings, but uh, I don't like the look of them. And they look a little too high. And I want this to be as close to the barrel as I can with that 20 MOA rail being on it already. Going to be raising it. So, yeah. But that's what we got, guys. And that's what we're going to be putting on this rifle. We're going to be putting it together tonight. Uh, might have an unveiling video. Might have an unveiling short. Not 100% sure yet what we're going to be doing as far as that is concerned. But I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're excited for this. As excited as I am for this. And really wanting to get my hands uh, busy doing some more stuff with uh, uh, building and stuff like that. So hopefully... Fingers crossed you're as excited as I am for this. But other than that, guys, stay safe, stay armed, stay 2 A strong, have a fantastic day, fantastic week, keep getting at it. And if at all possible, try to make somebody's day better. It doesn't take a lot. As always, keep getting at it. I got nothing else for you.